In this video we are using a Cascade EPS 200mm wave probe station with terahertz sigma kit for fully manual probing. Video comes from a Motic 1080 camera which is mounted on top of our Slimview microscope using a 10x objective. We are running WinCollect C software directly on the 67GHz PNA from Keysight Technologies. The frequency extenders are 1.1 terahertz models from Virginia Diodes. The probes are Cascade T-Wave T1100 probes which have a 25 micron pitch. This video is intended to give an overview of a typical calibration run. We start off looking at the PNA screen. The probes are in the air. We bring up WinCal on the same screen as the PNA software for this video, but usually WinCal and PNA software would be on separate screens. We start the AutoCal. During the AutoCal, WinCal will prompt us stage by stage for the different standards that it requires until all the data is collected. You will note that the trace changes once the probes have actually made contact. WinCal will automatically, once we press OK, measure the S parameter terms between ports 1 and 2, after which it will then measure the switching terms. The rest of the calibration will progress through the various lines and reflects. After this point, we will concentrate on the images seen at the probe tips. We are now looking at the alignment marks for the frue. All alignment marks are typically located just above the standards, and we use these to set the separation distance and over travel. The little pockets that you are seeing runs deep and represent the scrub distance of the probes. After Wincar's measured the frue, we move up to the open standard right at the top of the ISS. This also has alignment marks. The idea is to keep the left hand probe more or less exactly the same place making stage movements to get that lined up, and then the right hand one is moved with the right hand positioner. This would be the same scenario if we were using a motorised positioner. We move to our open and make our measurement. The short has the same separation distance as the open. Line the marks, check the over travel, and then move to the short standard. Winkow then makes its short measurement and stores the data. We then move to our lines, starting with the shortest first, which is line 1. It's actually only 10 microns longer than the through is. Line ourselves up, check contact, and then it's a straight translation downwards. Typically, I always double check using the precision axes on the EPS 200 and align to that axis. Just going up to line two now. The little gap you see at the start there is some on the order of about a half micron. And we measure line two. And on to line three. In each case, it's just a variation of the same thing. So let's go quickly now. So moving on to line 3 alignment marks, we're at 200% of normal speed now. And we'll make our line measurement, on to line 4. And check our marks. And on to line 5. Line 5 is the last line that you're able to see uh, with the 10x objective. 
in its entirety. Line 6 requires that we move the scope. Now, on to line 6 at regular speed. It's the last of the lines. Following measuring this line, we'll get WinCal to compute the error terms, and these error terms can be sent to the VNA. WinCal will also do a computation at that stage um, and tell us certain criteria of the line, which are useful validation means. And we move, and here's our last measurement. At the end of the cal, we get WinCal to compute the error terms, and in doing so, it also calculates another other factors, such as the propagation constant, as you can see here, which just looks fairly nice and flat, um, with a very uh, regular uh, propagation constant in terms of phase also. This concludes the calibration.